Most people see this as junk, but for a hoarder, every piece, no matter its condition, has value. And this behavior that doctors say is a mental illness is more common than we realize. Collecting and acquiring things often reduces anxiety, which can be really hard for the average person to understand because you see these environments that individuals will be living in and they're homes that none of us would want to be stepping in. Dr. Jody Samra was an expert on the series Confessions, Animal Hoarding. Uh, now, this has got to be expensive. The green wings now, I believe, are going for 1800 The owner was hoarding so many birds, she didn't have a place for her family to sit. The house had a rat infestation, the rodents feeding on bird droppings. So right now, are you able to commit to getting the number down at all? I'm not, I can't do it. If you look at individuals that engage in hoarding behaviors, um, you, we see unusually elevated rates of childhood trauma and abuse. Just like shopping gives some people a high when they're down, collecting items brings hoarders comfort. This woman has collected so much stuff. Until I can get them up and straight, we're going to have a hard time getting in and out of here. This is the ordeal she goes to every time she wants to use the washroom. Okay, I am in. For a while, the house was so cluttered, her husband slept here. I was virtually homeless. The problem can be hard to spot at first because these mounds of junk are often collected over a long time. It didn't happen overnight. It's been years and years and years. Gathering things as a hobby isn't a problem. It becomes an issue when someone's quality of life is affected. They lose friends, find themselves in debt, or get sick. The good news? Samra says it can be treated, but it's a long road to recovery. Sinjin Alexander, CTV News, Vancouver.